Welcome back. My name is MD Mahmoudul Hassan, Assistant Professor at Department of Geoinformation Science and Earth Observation, Potuagali Science and Technology University, Bangladesh. After this video, you will be able to explain the application of GIS and RS in urban planning and management. Let's begin with a brief explanation of the application of GIS and RS in urban planning. Use of GIS in urban planning. GIS were developed in the late 1960s, yet in the early days, every few planning departments installed them because of the prohibitive cost of hardware and the limited capabilities of the software. Most of the early software system focused on computer mapping with few analytical functions. The most powerful software at that time was grid-based, that means MGrid. The subsequent fall in the prices of hardware, computer storage, and peripherals accompanying improvement in the performance of hardware and software, particularly the speed of computer processor and advances in the data structure and related algorithms of vector-based GIS has made GIS more affordable, less time-consuming, and more workable. Since the early 1980s, there has been a marked increase in the installation of GIS in the different level and department of urban and regional government in the developed countries, notably of Europe and North America. GIS is increasingly accessible to planners and is now an important tool for urban planning in developed and developing countries alike. GIS is just one of the formalized computer-based information system capable of integrating data from various sources to provide the information necessary for effective decision making in the urban planning. Other information system for urban planning include database management system, decision support system, and expert system. GIS serves both as a database and as a toolbox for urban planning. In a database-oriented GIS, spatial and textual data can be stored and linked using the geo-rational model. Current GIS support efficient data retrieval, query, and mapping. Planner can also extract data from this data from their databases and input them to other modeling and spatial analysis programs. GIS in different functions and stages in urban planning. Urban planning involves many functions, scales, sectors, and stages. In general, the functions of urban planning can be classified into general administration, development control, plan making, and strategic planning. General administration and development control are relatively routine planning activities. Whereas plan making and non routine strategic planning are undertaken much less frequently. At the scale of planning, there are different stages the determination of planning objectives, the analysis of existing situation modeling and projection, development of planning options, selection of planning options, plan implementation, and plan evaluation, monitoring, and feedback. Different functions, scale, sectors, and stages of urban planning make different uses of GIS. The use of the data management, visualization, spatial analysis, and modeling components of GIS varies according to different functions of urban planning. Resource inventory. Geographical information, when integrated with remote sensing, can save time in collecting land use and environmental information. Remote sensing images are becoming an important source of spatial information for urban areas. They can help to detect land use and land use changes for whole urban areas. In particular, stereoscopic, stereoscopic pairs of digital aerial photographs can be used to drive 
three-dimensional CAT models of buildings for dynamic visualization of a city or for direct import into a GIS database. Analysis of existing situation. GIS can help to store, manipulate and analyze physical, social and economic data of a city. Planner can then use the special query and mapping functions of GIS to analyze the existing situation in the city. Modeling and projection. A key function of planning is the projection of future population and economic growth. GIS can be used for prediction and projection. A spatial modeling of a spatial distribution makes it possible to estimate the widest range of impact of existing trends of population and of economic and environmental science. For example, a range of environmental science can be investigated through the projection of future demand for land resources from population and economic activities, modeling of the spatial distribution of such demand, and then using GIS map overlay analysis to identify area of conflict. GIS can also be used to model different development scenario. It can show the modeling result in graphic form, making them easy to communicate with the decision makers. Planner can use such information to formulate different planning options and help guide future development so that they avoid SaaS conflicts. Development of planning options. Land suitability maps are very useful in the development of planning options. They can be used to identify the solution space for future development. The association of spatial optimization models with GIS can help to formulate and develop planning options which try to maximize or minimize some objective functions. The simulation of different scenarios of development with GIS can help the developing planning options. Selection of planning options. The final selection of a planning option is increasingly a political process, but planner can provide technical input to this process in order to help the community in making their collective choice. The integration of spatial and non-spatial model within GIS can help to evaluate different planning scenarios. The use of GIS with multi-criteria decision analysis can provide the technical inputs in the selection of planning options. Plan implementation. GIS can be used in the implementation of urban plan by carrying out environmental impact assessment of proposed project to evaluate and minimize the impact of development on the environment. Following such a work, remedial measures can be recommended to alleviate the impacts. Plan evaluation, monitoring, and feedback. When used together with remote sensing, GIS can help to monitor the environment. It can, for example, be used to monitor land use changes. It can also examine whether land development is following the land use plan of the region. By overlaying a land development map produced from the analysis of reverse sensing images on the land use plan. In addition, GIS can be used to evaluate the impact of development on the environment to see whether adjustment of the plan are needed. GIS can also be used in the monitoring and programming of land development. That's all for today. Thank you for watching this video.